Hi, pleasant good evening. And this is your host, Pastor Reverend Grant, and we're here with the Word of God. Praise the Lord. And I just want to pray. Oh, Father, we just thank you right now. We praise you as we come in that holy name. That name is Jesus. And we thank you for your people out there, Lord. And as they listen to your word, their hearts will be blessed. Father, Lord, we pray for that individual with the head right now. I pray for that head right now, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, be healed. God has not given you the spirit of fear, but love, power, and a sound mind. I command that headache, that oppression, that depression to go from you right now right now in the name of Jesus Christ every spirit of infirmity every spirit of stress I come against them right now father in the name of Jesus I pray that you will be made whole right now in the name of Jesus be healed in Jesus mighty name father we give you the glory and we give you the praise in Jesus name and this this evening we will be speaking from St. Matthew 11 and we will start at verse 28 where the word of God is speaking to his people out there to come hallelujah come hallelujah the Lord is saying come unto me all ye that are all, all ye that labor sorry come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest now in, in order to have rest i'm talking about the mind you see you need rest in the mind you see the mind just wars and it labors in vain and all god is saying come and i will give you rest come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden they that are burdened down with the cares of this world god is saying come unto me and i will give you rest hallelujah glory to god the word come means to to get up, to, to come, to arise, hallelujah, to, it's an invitation, and it's an open invitation, and he's saying, come, hallelujah, come means to arise, be resurrected, hallelujah, be restored, hallelujah, come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, hallelujah. You see, you need peace. God will give it to you when you come unto him. When you call upon the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He shall give you peace. He shall give you rest. He shall restore your soul. He shall lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Hallelujah. Come unto him. He's calling you right now. Leave what you're doing. Drop what you're doing. Hallelujah. Reject the world and come unto him. Hallelujah. And he will give you rest. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You need a restoration in your soul. Come, hallelujah. I will give you rest. Oh, glory to God. And the word of God declares that um, in St. Matthew 11, verse 29, it says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest in your soul. Hallelujah. You hear that? You shall find rest in your souls. Come, hallelujah. Come, learn of me, Jesus says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For he is meek and he is lowly. He will give you rest. Hallelujah. He will give you rest in your souls. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For he says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. You see, the yoke of the world is too heavy. My God. And he said, come, I will trade with you. Hallelujah. You give me your yoke and I will give you my yoke. For my yoke is easy. You give me your burden and I will give you my burden. For my burden is light. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And if you look into Isaiah 55, where the word of God says, Oh, everyone that thirsted, come eat to the waters. And he that hath no money, Come ye buy and eat. Yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. You hear that? Come. This salvation is free. It's an open invitation. It is free. You don't need any money to come. Hallelujah. Come buy milk and wine. Hallelujah. And bread without money. And this, this bread is, is everlasting bread. Hallelujah. This bread will give you a life. Hallelujah. The bread 
that came down from heaven I'm talking about the bread of life because the word of God declares man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God I'm talking about the bread of life Jesus the good shepherd he is the bread of life come hallelujah come unto him all ye that labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest hallelujah glory to God hallelujah praise the Lord come it's an invitation you see we're living in the last days and the wages of sin is death hallelujah the gift of god is eternal life the word of god declares that righteousness exalted a nation but sin is a reproach unto any man you see there is no repentance in the grave now is the acceptable time hallelujah come come to the lord he's calling you you know we don't you don't want to hear you know it's too late now hallelujah come now hallelujah he is a very present help in the time of trouble call upon the lord call upon his name he will hear you he will answer you he will be with you hallelujah even unto the end of this world just come this is an invitation to those who need the lord come Come, repent and serve the Lord. These are the last days, loved ones. Come to the Lord. Come, drop what you're doing and come taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that put their trust in the Lord. Come again, I say. Come, come out of darkness. Come out of Babylon. Come out of Egypt, hallelujah. Come buy milk. Come buy wine, hallelujah. Come buy bread without money, hallelujah. I'm talking about salvation, the full and free salvation. Only in King Jesus you can have rest. Only in Jesus you can have peace. Only in Jesus you can have deliverance. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, we just bless his holy name right now. And we just thank him. You see the woman at the well, hallelujah. She was seeking for things that could not satisfy her. Hallelujah. But when she met King Jesus, her life was never the same. Hallelujah. For Jesus says, this water that I'm about to give you, hallelujah, it shall be in you a well springing up into everlasting life. Hallelujah. And once that woman tastes of that water, her life wasn't the same. She dropped her water pot. Hallelujah. I said to drop whatever you're doing right now and go and tell someone that come see a man who told me all things. This man must be the Christ hallelujah the woman dropped her water pot hallelujah my God she was going to that well but what she was drawing from that well could not satisfy her hallelujah hallelujah glory only in King Jesus there's satisfaction hallelujah He's the only one that can give us rest hallelujah thank God for this water the water the well that never shall run dry hallelujah with joy with joy we shall draw water out of the well of salvation but first you must come hallelujah come unto me hallelujah the lord is calling you he's saying to come out of the world come out of wilderness hallelujah come out of babylon hallelujah come out of darkness you see i am the light i came that you may live and have life and have it more abundantly for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life he's calling you come hallelujah come loved ones come again i say come all ye that labor and are heavy laden you're heavy down with the cares of this world there's no satisfaction there's there's no happiness in money you see god says in timothy that we came into this world we didn't bring anything in this world and we're not going to take anything with us when we leave this world he says the love of money is the root of all evil hallelujah little is much when god is in your life hallelujah come hallelujah come Come to the Lord. He loves you. Hallelujah. He will make you whole. He will cleanse you. The woman with the issue of blood, she seek physicians, many physicians. Hallelujah. But instead of her condition became better, it became worse. Hallelujah. And when she met Jesus, her life was totally, were totally changed. Uh, sorry, her life was totally changed. Hallelujah. Only in Jesus you can have changed. Only Jesus can transform your life. Come again, I say. 
The Lord bless you. He loves you with unconditional love. Do not wait too long. Come. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He loves you. The Lord bless you. And thank you for listening, Reverend Grant. That was Reverend Grand with the word of love, of, of God. It's the same thing. <laughs>